Hey guys, my name is Coach Manzo and this is All Things Basketball TV and today I'm going to share with you the best way to get a quicker handle. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now one quick disclaimer before I get into the video is that I do use what is called a weighted basketball, which is very simply a basketball that is weighted. It works like a traditional basketball. It looks like a normal basketball. However, it is somewhere between three to eight pounds. Now, the reason why I chose to use that is because I feel like it is a very underutilized training tool. However, one of the most effective. I do not recommend products often. However, I truly believe in the weighted basketball simply because I've owned this myself for since 2013 so that's about to be seven years indoor and outdoor and it works perfectly fine obviously there's a few scratches here and there but it pretty much looks like it just came out the box and when used correctly which is how i'm going to demonstrate in this video it can probably be your most effective tool in giving you a quicker handle which is the ultimate goal and it's actually pretty simple to use correctly so let's dive right into it so the first step in getting a quicker handle is that you want to first do a simple dribbling combination with the weighted basketball. I believe in the video I have my player Chris perform a pound cross pound combination. You are to do this combination anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds with the following keys in mind. One, dribble as low as possible and two, dribble as quick as possible. After you do the dribbling combination with the weighted basketball anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds, you're then going to immediately switch to a traditional basketball. This is very important. You must transition immediately to the traditional basketball right after using the weighted basketball. When doing so, the traditional basketball is going to feel incredibly light. This phenomenon is called supersetting. Supersetting is most commonly seen inside a weight room in which the athlete would do an athletic movement with high resistance, for example, squatting. And after the athlete's done squatting, they'll immediately transition into the same athletic movement, but with no resistance. So in this example, box jumps. In doing so, the athlete is going to feel 30 times lighter for a brief period of time. Now, even though this may wear off, the major benefit is that when supersetting, you are training the body to move at quicker patterns than you normally would without supersetting. Meaning that what is considered fast to you over time will eventually become normal. And what you would have deemed as impossible then becomes your fast. Keep repeating the process and you'll gradually get faster and faster. This whole phenomenon could be summarized in one quick quote which is in order to get fast, you must train fast. And when supersetting with a weighted basketball, you could train faster than your body normally could. That wraps up today's episode. If you enjoyed and would like to support this channel and support its growth, smash that like button and please subscribe. If you have any questions regarding the game of basketball or if you're asking for a friend, leave them down in the comment section below and I will respond to you and I will likely make a video on that topic. Once again, I'm Coach Manzo, and you have been watching All Things Basketball TV. Thank you.